Black Sevens a little earlier today. That Wales came very close to beating Scotland. Win this and they stay alive. Argentina on an eight game winning streak against Wales. Back to Sydney in 2018 to see the last time the Welsh beat Los Pumas Sevens. This is their first meeting since Vancouver 2020 before lockdown occurred. And here they come, the Welsh in red, of course. And Argentina led out by the great Gaston Raval playing his 85th Sevens World Series event. They've been on the podium at every event so far this series have Argentina Wales though well they're 14th overall yet to make a cup quarter-final they did win their last match in Seville that was the 13th place playoff against Canada they're looking for consecutive wins Argentina they're big they're tough they're strong they're gnarly they've got guys like Herman Schultz who can really take it into contact and make things difficult for the opposition Tavita Rocco Bereni one of the more experienced whistleblowers here in Singapore this weekend. Yeah, they'll be needed here. As you yeah, said, Argentina, very difficult side. 84 tries to show this season. They can score from anywhere. See if the Welsh can disrupt that flow. It's got them four straight medals. Yeah, three bronze and a silver so far. Their best ever start to a Sevens World Series, Argentina. But they need a win. Well, they might not be playing knockout rugby on finals day. Brought down well by Augustin Frago. He's been given the start here against Wales. Here's Raval. Ball in two hands. Chopped down. He's captain this weekend. Santiago Alvarez in rehab. Back in South America. Marcos Moneta. Reigning world player of the year. As Argentina, their first foray into Welsh territory. But yeah, sealing off past the ball. You see that quite a bit, don't you? They're so keen to make sure the opposition don't get a nibble. But if the opposition don't compete, you can get yourself into trouble. Yeah, lots of debate with the coaches on that. There's not, nothing to lean on or to ruck against. Is it your fault when you go off your feet? Just to clarify, the rehab back in Argentina is of a physical nature. There's no <laughs> social, <laughs> personal problems. Yes. Yeah. A leg injury, I believe. Thank you. Yeah, knee, knee to Santiago Alvarez, who's been brilliant for them so far on the series. But they do have depth. And there's the depth for Wales. Luke Trahan, the captain. Nice flat ball and hitting it hard as well. But how about the tackle, Felipe Del Mestre? That had to be made. Wales well, still in possession though. Nice show and go. Ah, oh, that's just been lost by Ewan Rossa. Just can't hold on to it. You can hear the groans from the players. That was a really good opportunity for them. Opportunity missed. Yeah, good flat attack there. I thought Rossa maybe could have flipped that one out wide. Cahern hits it. This is a good line, angle of run. But look at those Argentinian defenders. Shoulder square, upfield. Textbook pass, tackle from Felipe Del Mestre. So Revolt will feed the scrum. The Cordoban in his 85th event. Double Olympian. To boot. Chips into contact. And there's Revolt again. Gonzalez try to score it earlier today. Marcos Moneta uh -oh. so fast, but well marshaled. Ball goes over the sideline. It'll be a line out throw to wales yeah he thought he was free on the sideline didn't he marcos Moneta, the 22 year old sevens player of the year and just so dangerous plays with a lot of passion he gets a lot of support from his teammates as well they look after him and put him into spaces yeah he was the leading try scorer at the olympic games last year he was absolutely brilliant in that bronze medal match against south africa and Helped knock Team GB out of that tournament as well. No score yet in this one. There's Moneta. Awaits. Let's go again. Coach! Bind! Thank you. Set! Hold! So a little after 2 p.m. here in Singapore, 
This match from Pool C, Argentina, Wales. Scoreless so far. Schultz goes quickly. Gonzalez. Oh, a loose ball that was meant for Mineta, but it's fallen into the hands of Lloyd Lewis. And Wales can come away with it. Trahan is Morgan Williams. He scored a try earlier against Scotland as well, but that pass is loose and it's just too hot to handle for Morgan. Chernowski, Morgan Williams just didn't quite have it on point. Scrum or line out? Yeah, I think it was a skip pass is what he was looking for. Then two of them tip it. It is very humid here as well. We've seen some spilled ball. Yeah, Chris Smith, this big six foot four man, just perhaps got Coach. in the way of that one. In the full shirt, he'll pack a scrum now. Uh, opportunity for Argentina. There is building up. Second game for these teams today, two of three on day one. Nice step from Del Mestre, Felipe under the posts. That's all it took to open the door. The big right foot step. And he was gone. Yeah, a simple scrum move. And just not enough, help, not enough help on the inside shoulder. Good balance running from Del Mestre. Came up with a really good tackle, didn't he, a little earlier on to help deny Wales at the other end. First played for Argentina Sevens back in 2017 in Wellington. 28 years of age, still going strong. Extra two from right in front. Argentina getting the full oh. service. We love it too, fellas. Great to see some Argentina Sevens fans here in Singapore. Morgan Williams lifted by Lloyd Lewis. Wales win the restart. 90 seconds to go, a little bit of change in this first half. Trahan having to bridge that breakdown. Here's Callum Williams, that ball rolled forward, yeah. It was the scarlet. Lost it forward. Callum Williams, who's been given an opportunity, the young 20-year-old, to play here in Singapore. Dwayne Peel, his mentor at the Scarlets, former Wales scrum half in both forms of the game. Yeah, Williams got a try early on in that Coach. first match against Scotland. They went down by two points. Point. There's an indecision on that one. Sit! Yeah, Nick Wakely. Holy. He's telling me during the week. One of the coaches, managers of this uh, Wales team, how the relationship with the regions in Wales is so important. Try to get access to players. They still have quite a large, high turnover of talent Tackle. in and out of the team. Does make it difficult to get synergy, momentum, cohesion. Try scorer here, Del Mestre. Gets the offload to De La Vega. Well done there. Santiago Viedefeld. This is what Argentina do. They're so physical and powerful. They just hold onto the ball. They're patient. Revol has it now. Oh, Gaston Revol. He's still got it. The old stager. Career try number 58 for Gaston. Well, his 85th appearance here. Just too much class. He's done this too many times. 35 years old and still going strong. Now he's going to have the extras. Yeah, doesn't he as well? The extra two for Gaston Revol, double Olympian. He retired. He's retired about five times, <laughs> this guy. But he keeps coming back, still going. And Argentina have two maximum scores in the first half. They lead Wales by 14 points to nil. Boyd going two losses on the bounce. 14 nil down against Argentina. Like they made another change. Juan Purse Jones is out there for Wales in the 10 shirt. Great to see fans in here inside the National Stadium. They've sold every ticket. 12,000 were on offer. With reduced capacity in a stadium that can fit about 45, 50,000, but still semi restrictions here in Singapore. But great, Gareth, we've got an event on. This is the first major international sporting event that's taken place 
in the Lion City since restrictions were reduced. Yeah, fantastic to see, and we see Gaston uh, Bowles' experience there. But it poses the question of Saturdays for the boys, Sunday sevens. That's when all the hardware is given out. That's for everyone else. Yeah, it's great to be here. Great to have all these teams back. Samoa, Fiji, New Zealand. Bats. So this is Francisco Ujoa in the nine shirt, 24-year-old. He's come in for a fall. Free kick, though, to Wales at the scrum. So just two scores adrift. Luke Traherne, the senior veteran. The Welsh response to Gaston Revol. See if he can build something here. Yeah, Traherne's been there and done that. 2015 Gold Coast, his debut. Oh, how about a breakaway and a step from Cole Swanick. Oh, that is searing stuff from Cole Swanick, the Pontypri flyer. What a try. Well, what a response when your coach pulls you off the bench. Just directing traffic a little bit, squares up. I think he has the fortune of an Argentinian player slipping there. And he goes off the right foot. Yeah, right there, loses the treading. Great moment for him. And Wales right back in the match. Yeah, another one of these Welsh players. Hasn't played a lot of events, but he's played quite a lot of sevens with Speranza sevens. Formerly Hartbury College as well. In Gloucestershire in the UK. Seven-point ball game now. Try converted from right in front. Still five minutes to go. Wales fighting for their cup quarterfinal qualification lives here. Get a result here, and they put themselves in a in a decent position ahead of their final game of the day that will be against New Zealand. Long ball over the top. Was it forward? It wasn't able to be taken by Uwan Purse Jones. It was a wobbly old ball. And they're on a penalty advantage, and they're going to have a chat there. So the judge. More than a penalty? Uh, Just a penalty? Thank you. Yeah, the referee Thank saw you. the shoulder charge after the Number pass four, was blue. made. It was four, four blue, and that's De La Vega. He comes in after the pass is released and the puts the shoulder in. Oh, yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah, and that's high contact. I think that's going to be a problem for him. He almost tried to stop himself, didn't he? At least he put his hands up. Anyway, penalty to Wales, and it is a yellow card to Jorgen De La Vega. So seven on six, just what Wales wanted, really. 4.30 to go, leading, Argentina leading by seven points. Inverted try or level this one up. Two-minute power play for Wales. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is exactly what you want when you're playing with six. <laughs> the quick tap. An absolute beast, isn't he, Gonzalez? Tackle! Those big wide eyes of his, just alert to everything. He just went into that breakdown and said, this is mine. Hands on, no, 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 Captain. Backwards. Loose ball, though, got to be careful. Not many options out there at the moment with the yellow card for Argentina. Now Wales get the penalty again. The Argentina cleaning out beyond the ruck, obstructing effectively. Seen that a lot today, haven't we? Yes. This, so, guy's, this guy's been awesome for... Argentina, hasn't he, at this tournament so far? Luciano Gonzalez, Sevilla, almost won the game again, the cup final against South Africa, then they let it slip right towards the end, but he on, would Captain. be right up there we, we still got sub. Yeah, in come any in. Series 7, I reckon, you're picking at the moment. Yeah, and they're going to sub in this lineup. Wales have chosen to go to the lineup, that's a set piece, and of course Argentina one short at the moment. Trahan on the wraparound from Swanick, going on an angling run now is Tom Williams, but the ball advantage. gets lost Over. in contact. He was thinking about the offload, and guess who's got it? It's Marcos Moneta. He does like the bump and run. Moneta, it'll just beat him over the end line. Go Getting on, back please. well was Juan Purse Jones for Wales. Well, credit that man, Purse Jones. He didn't quit. He matched him for pace, and then once the kick came in, he kept going, he kept working. Good, and a little little nudge angle cut him across. 
but didn't let him have his way, and that's what you I need at this stage. Wales only down by a score. Can we have a ball? Yeah, really good. That was so important, wasn't it? It meant that he, he couldn't control the little the chip forward. We know how dangerous Marcus Monetta is in that situation. Yep. Who won Perth Jones on debut, just 18 years of age from Cardiff. Hang on. Full of beans. Been on the radar for just five or six weeks or so, but they got high hopes for this kid. Cheers, mate. Turn the con. Dr. Luke Trahan with the 22 dropout. That's been knocked on by Argentina, and it'll be a scrum to Wales. And the clock might well run yeah. down on the Sinbin, so they should be coming back to the full complement here. Or did the whistle go just before yeah. it went to zero? I think it did, as he's still on the sideline. He's up from his naughty chair. But he's not here. They're out to seven now. Yeah, they're the full complement. Yeah, they got the three backs. So they just they made the sub revolves off with Del Nestre. You never hit this. So many penalties and free kicks in this game. Argentina have got another one. That's a tough call. He said he didn't hook it. Well, you do have to hook it. That is in the law. Gonzalez. Luciano. Look at that. Just burst through a tackle and gets away from Perth Jones. Look at him go. Luciano Gonzalez. You are beastly. <laughs> Well, that's his 17th World Series try. He got one this morning. This is just a one-on-one. -on -one. Not much room to work in. Had the power to get through that one. Looking for more contact. Just creating space for himself. And now the afterburners kick in. The shape of this guy. You see him walking around the team hotel. He's, he is almost square. And it's all <laughs> completely solid. I'm not tackling that. Conversion misses, 19-7 it remains, just over a minute to go. Neither were the Welsh on that play, 12 points. Dream team in Malaga. Could be a dream team here in Singapore as well. Williams tries to win it for Wales, it's gone forward, and guess who's got it? Gonzalez. Good, good refereeing crew there, got a little help from his assistant official. Something having the physical attributes, it's another thing, knowing how to use it. Someone like Werner Koch, cool. the, the great South African when he was playing sevens, you know. Big, sinewy, strong guys, but Five. they know how to chuck it about. Yeah. And Argentina Six. taking advantage of those errors from Wales. Too many late in the game. Richie Pugh is not sidelined right now, but he won't Hold be on. happy with that. Well, they've shown a lot of heart here in the first two games, the Welsh boys. Well, this Swanak, he showed what he can do. With a, an electric try and that... Brilliant moment earlier in the half, but another penalty. They've been thick and fast against Wales. Rodrigo Iscro goes quickly. Santiago Vierafeld, there's an offload. Gonzalez now shows the passing ability out to the right-hand side. And Franco Sabato round the outside. And that is try number 126 for Franco. Well, it's Saturday here in Singapore, and Sabato gets his moment. And the echo of the gong to end the second half. He rounds the corner. Yeah, giving the kids lots to cheer about here. Keep moving, oh, yeah. Reasons to be cheerful for Argentina. Their first win of the day, having narrowly lost to New Zealand earlier on. This will be the, the last moment of this game. Conversion doesn't get there, but Los Pumas Sevens return to the kind of form that's got them onto every podium so far this series. They've beaten Wales by 24 